All right, the video's rolling. So we want to chat a little bit today about the uh, diagnosis that this patient has here. And I'm going to have him tell his story a little bit. Can you give me your age, sir? 32. 32. And there's a lot of background noise. Give me a second here. All right, good timing on my video. So you had an onset of headache how long ago? Uh, it started on Friday. Three days ago, mm -hmm. and this headache. What's characteristic about this headache? It's not like a normal headache that I would just normally take Tylenol for. When I stand up, it shoots up and just throbs on one side or the other or both, almost like a stabbing sensation on the side, um, almost to the point where it just makes me throw up. Okay, so you have some nausea with it too, and then what makes the headache go away? Sitting down usually alleviates it. Laying down helps. Um, but every time when you get back up and stand up, right the headache back. comes back. Yeah. Okay. And this has been going on, to, well, okay, so today is Sunday, so it's been going on since Friday, right? Yeah. Okay, not before that. Yeah. When it started, what were you doing when it started? Going to work. Going to work? Yeah. Okay. So you, you didn't have like a sneezing episode or a coughing jag or anything like that, all right? What are your symptoms that you're basically feeling? Um, I think earlier you told me what? Go ahead. It's like a, it's, you can almost feel it starting right at the base of the neck. All right, so you have some neck stiffness. And it, it's like it's a firecracker shooting upward. You okay. You feel it literally coming up and around. Okay. Um, you get nausea with it, you told yeah. me too. All right. Mm -hmm. And we went over the International Headache Society criteria mm -hmm. for uh, this, uh, uh, spontaneous uh, low CSF pressure headache or a spontaneous intracranial hypotension because what, what my working diagnosis is and, and I think neurology is, in, is aligned with me on this is that uh, you may have like a, a spinal fluid leak but you never had a spinal tap never had a lumbar puncture and I think that's what's going on here but the um, International Headache Society classifications on this basically describe it as a diffuse um, and or dull headache that worsens within 15 minutes after sitting or standing with at least one of the following uh, criteria. Neck stiffness, tinnitus where your ears are ringing, you don't have that, or uh, hypocusis where uh, sounds are especially loud, uh, photophobia, you said the light hurts your eyes a little bit, yeah, but a little sensitive to light, but that's about it, but you definitely had nausea with right. this, right. And then at least one of the following evidence of low CSF pressure on MRI. Uh, we didn't do an MRI, they did a CTA today, all right? And um, I'm, I'm not, I don't completely understand that, but um, uh, they're the experts, I'm not. And then if you did like a CSF, like a spinal tap, the opening pressure less than 60, or evidence of CSF leakage on conventional myelography, or CT, uh, myelogram, uh, and that type of study. The uh, headache usually resolves within 72 hours after an epidural blood patch, and there's no history of a dural puncture or other cause of CF CSF fistula. So you, you definitely fit this diagnostically. We did a cervical injection uh, a few minutes ago because your headache was persistent, and, uh, and that's helped you significantly? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. So, like I said, my experience with the cervical injection for um, spinal headaches, which this is essentially like a lumbar puncture headache, is that it, it works, it may, not, it may not last for one or more than one or two days, but at least it'll help you kind of get started. Now, oral caffeine, IV caffeine, blood patches are, are um, current recommendations. I think in general they don't want to do the blood patch right away and see if this spontaneously will get better. In the meantime, I know you like caffeine, your wife was telling me that, and so, uh, you know, drink a lot of caffeine, uh, drink a lot of coffee, and uh, maybe get some Mountain Dews. Uh, this is not an ad. This is not an ad for Mountain Dew, but something with a lot of caffeine I've in got it. So. <laughs> What's that? I've got plenty of Mountain Dew. Okay. All right. Good. One of those energy drinks, whatever. But um, so uh, I appreciate you letting me do this video. As as you know, it ends up on YouTube, and you don't have any problem with that. No. Okay. Good enough. Uh, I I would uh, I would offer to mask your face, but uh, 
that's it's up to you. You don't want to hide this. <laughs> I love the humility. So <laughs> he knows he's good looking. All right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, if you have an email address, when I I'll have you sign a permit. If you have an email address, we'll put that. I'll, I'll let you know when it's when it's posted. All right. And then you can put it on Facebook or do whatever you want to do. Awesome.